Okay, this is weaving part two. Um, you're ready to weave. You have now threaded your loom, strung your loom. These are the warp strings, okay? And now we are going to start weaving with yarn. You're gonna notice that the yarn in the art room is in cans, and so all you wanna do is bring your scissors to the yarn bin, and you're gonna pull the yarn out through the hole, and you're gonna measure about an arm span of yarn. And once you've done that, you're going to cut it, leaving a little tail on the can. And then bring your yarn back over to your seat. This is the needle. We're going to be weaving with a needle. It has a point and it has an eye. This is the eye of the needle. Now yarn has lots of different threads to put it together. Depending on how many strands there are is the different types of yarn. This one has four strands. And you see this would be very difficult to get through the needle. So the trick for threading a needle is you take the yarn, you bend it near the end, and then you wiggle that through the needle. And you'll get it through the eye of the needle. Take your yarn, hold it from both sides, and tie it in a loop through the hole and pull. Just a simple knot. You don't want to lose your needle. It's the only one you get today. And it helps you so you don't have to waste a lot of time re-threading it. Then you're going to take your loom, doesn't matter which end, pick an end, and you are going to take your needle and you are going to go under, over, under, over. It is a little easier weaving in the middle because the, the warp strings are looser and you can flex it, but sometimes you just need to take your finger and lift those strings up so that your needle can go underneath them. And for this, this is a straight weave. We're just going under one string, over one string, under one string, over one string. Then you're going to pull it through. You're going to pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. You want to stop when you have just a little tail. Then you're going to take your weaving and you're going to go around to the other side because we are weaving in the round. We are going around the loom. So I'm going to go under over on this side up and down, up and down. Sometimes when you have a crooked needle like mine is, it's actually easier because it helps you go under some of these warp strings. The strings that go up and down are called the warp strings and the weaving going across is called the weft. And we remember that because we go from the left and right. And so these are the weft strings. All right, we come around and now here comes the tricky part. If you notice, last time I was here, what did I do? I went under this one. So this time I must do the opposite. And the opposite is over. So I'm going to go over, under, over, under, across my loom. Over, under, over, under. All the way across, going opposite. Let's say I made a mistake and I did two unders or three unders. And I pull it through. Oh no, look, that's a mistake. No big deal. All we do is back it up. Go backwards where it came from and continue the right way. If I had done a couple of rows and then I realized I made a mistake, just fix your weaving. Don't worry. So I pack it down, flip it over, and I continue weaving around and around the loom, each time opposite. I look here. I went under last time. So this time I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, all the way across the loom, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Notice this little stumpy one? I ignored it. Don't worry about it. Over, under, over, under. Now, when I flip it, look, it's pretty short. I don't have a lot of yarn left. So I take my needle off. I'm going to go get a new piece of yarn and I am going to tie the two pieces of yarn together doing the reef knot, what we did for homework. Left over right, right over left, done. Take my other end, thread my needle, bend it and thread it, tie it in a knot and continue weaving. If it were to run out in the middle of your row, no big deal. Same thing, take your needle off, take another arm span of yarn and tie it on. Go across weaving, 
opposite from what I did the last row. Continue going across and pull it, pull it all the way to the end. Do not leave any loops at the end. Okay, pack that down and flip it over again. See how my tail ended up weaving in there? That's good. You want that to happen. Then we won't have all these extra pieces. But if you do, don't worry about it. In the end, I will show you a trick to get rid of those ugly tails that are hanging out. So keep weaving under over patterns for 10 more rows and then we'll talk about what comes next. Good luck.